are the popular new breed of weight loss drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy right for you if you're over 40? Are they right for women going through menopause? Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape and there's been so much talk about the weight loss drugs Wegovy and the diabetes drug or Zempic otherwise known as semaglutide and we know that some celebrities have actually come out and said that they have been taking these weight loss drugs to great effect. Some of the ones that have stated they've used it are Paula Abdul who's actually used it for her diabetes condition that she's had for 20 years and she's over the age of 40. And you have Elon Musk and Remy Bader who have publicly stated that they have used the drug. Not only that, but there are a lot of people on social media here on YouTube and other social media platforms that are saying they've either taken a Zembic or Wegovy and they've had really great results with it. But what I want to discuss in this video, is it good for women over 40? Is it good around menopause? And I'm going to let you know whether I think it's actually a good way of losing weight. So semaglutide is the drug. It's marketed under the name of Azempic as diabetes medication and Wegovy as weight loss medication. And what they are are GLP-1 receptor antagonists. And they work by increasing the stimulation of insulin in your pancreas and reducing the amount of glucose in your liver. This actually helps people to reduce their blood sugar levels, people with type 2 diabetes. But what they found when people started taking a Zempic is it actually worked for weight loss as well. The reason they work for weight loss is they result in slower clearing of your stomach. So therefore, you don't get as hungry as much because you've got that full sensation. And so what happens is people generally eat less when they take this drug. And that's why it does get really amazing results. So what they found is people that take Wegovy, for example, are losing 15% of their body weight, which is absolutely incredible when you compare it to things like going on a diet. It's much more effective. So both Azempic and Wegovy are taken by injection every week. Wegovy is actually a bit stronger than Azempic. Azempic is for people with type 2 diabetes and the dosage for Wegovy is higher and so it is found that it's actually more effective than Azempic for weight loss. Wegovy is actually taken just for weight loss. So let's look at a couple of the studies. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2017, researchers found Ozempic was significantly more effective than the placebo at reducing HbA1c levels, which is the way that type 2 diabetes is measured. So we know that it's really effective for type 2 diabetes. And in a 2021 study, that was published in The Lancet. Not only did Wegovy reduce HbA1c levels, but it's actually really effective at helping people to lose weight. However, they did find that Wegovy, there are some side effects like diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Another study, and this is really interesting, that was published in 2021, monitored people when they came off Wegovy and a otherwise known as semaglutide and what was found is they actually regained two-thirds of that body weight that they lost. That's really significant. So what about the side effects? Well the side effects that are reported and don't forget this is fairly new. Fatigue, I'm guessing fatigue because obviously you're not going to be eating as much food and dieting in itself will cause tiredness. So fatigue, nausea, some people are reporting diarrhea and vomiting, headaches, constipation and dizziness. So there are quite a few side effects but it's 
it's been reported that they generally stop after a few weeks. Now, some of the long-term side effects which are a little bit more concerning are pancreatitis, gallbladder disease, hyperglycemia and acute kidney injury. Now, we're not going to know all the long-term effects at this point because they are relatively new drugs. So, what about we go V and Ozempic, women over 40 and menopause? Well, what we do know is there's quite a lot of people now coming out and saying that if you take either of these drugs what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose muscle mass and when you're over the age of 40 if you watch any of my other content you will know that we can't afford to lose muscle mass at this age we lose what muscle mass at a rate anyway of 1% per year muscle mass is the thing that actually promotes and builds your muscle metabolism. Now, in terms of actual studies and menopause and being over 40, it's a very new drug, so I haven't come across any specific studies in women over 40 or around menopause. So the answer is we actually don't know. You've just got to go on what the risks are and what the pitfalls are for the general population. So what are my thoughts on a Zempit and whether you should take it as a woman over 40. Well, I would say if you have type 2 diabetes or you've got serious health concerns because of obesity, then yes, because for people like you, this drug could be an absolute lifesaver and if you're in the position where you've tried everything else tried dieting you've tried a good lifestyle to lose weight and it's just not working then do go down that route but what I would say is that it's really important to include strength training it's really important to get your nutrition right and it's also if you got to the size where you were obese do you need to think about addressing building building in long-term habits because we've seen with the studies that actually if you take one of these drugs what's going to happen when you come off it is you're going to regain on average two-thirds of the weight you lost so if you haven't addressed your lifestyle and getting into really good habits with your diet good habits with your mindset good habits with your exercise particularly strength training so you don't lose that muscle mass then you run the risk that you're going to take this drug and then regain most of the weight back but having said that I would say it's much better than taking weight loss surgery I've spoken to women that have had weight loss surgery and regained the weight later in life so it's really important again to address those habits what's triggering you maybe you've got a food addiction that you need to address so always look at that at the same time and always Always, always, always consult a doctor before you start implementing something like this. Now, for people that have got only 10 or 20 pounds to lose something like this, I would say don't go down that route. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for sort of shredding down. My weight can vary around about kind of 10 pounds. I wouldn't use it as a tool to lose weight, to just look good on the beach, something like that. These drugs should be reserved for the people that really need it, that have health conditions. That's my thoughts on it. And I know the availability is really, really difficult for some people. You can't use these drugs to replace good old fashioned exercise exercise and eating well. If you've got a problem with overeating, you need to kind of address those habits and it's not going to solve anything by taking a drug, is it? It's going to give you the short-term effect, but it's not going to affect your behaviour in the long term. And if you're aiming for a body recomposition, they are definitely not the way forward. So a body recomposition is putting on more muscle and losing fat. And as we've heard, 
just like with any other rapid weight loss, you're actually going to run the risk of losing muscle, which you don't want. We also don't really know what the long-term risks of these drugs are. As I said, if you're obese or you've got type 2 diabetes, it's probably worth taking the risk. But if you haven't got any of those conditions, then I don't think it's worth it. But do let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on these new ways wave of weight loss drugs. Maybe you're taking it and you're seeing real success with it, or maybe you've decided you're not going to go down that route. I'd love to hear from you.